this is the Coomera patch. I mean, not that, that's a chili. But <clears throat> over here are our Coomeras and they've been in for five months. They are ready to dig. Hey guys, so today it's Coomera day. These guys have been down for five months. I've had a bit of a ferret around um, and there are some in there. How many, I'm not sure, but I'm also ready to get them out so I can put some garlic in afterwards. So yeah, planted them from slips in very late November. Um, it is now the end of April and the leaves are starting to go yellow so I know that they are ready to come up. So yeah, let's get in there and see how we go. It's like Peanut hears me out here and he comes along. He's second guessing whether he wants to jump down because Dio's also here. Hey putty putty. Um, the best way to go about harvesting is to first cut, not pull, a fanny bum. Mm. Cut, not pull. Mm. <laughs> He's cutting all the leaves off. You are? The best way to go about harvesting these, or starting your harvest, is to cut all the foliage off if you haven't already picked it and used it, um, like watercress and salads and things like that. I haven't, but yeah, cut all your foliage off, put it to the side. I am cutting all of it off. <laughs> and by cutting them off, you kind of want to see a little bit, leave a little bit on so you know where your slip has gone into the ground at first, because that's kind of where you want to start digging. If you've been quite diligent at lifting your um, Coomera throughout the season, you shouldn't have too much sticking in the soil. Because remember, we sort of talked about <clears throat> wherever a little nodule touches the ground, it will grow roots. And if you were to leave these in there, the plant would focus all its energy on all of these little roots trying to grow little tubers, and you really want them to focus on growing big tubers under the ground. I was talking to my dad, who's grown Coomera like all my life. Um, and he said that the purple Coomera, uh, or sweet potato, they can grow like up to a metre away from the plant. They really grow from roots that spread. And golden Coomera kind of grow right underneath where you've put these slips. So that's going to be interesting. I know where Ooh. I've got... I know. I know where I've got one golden Coomera. Um, yep. I just need to find out where the rest of them are. Hmm, grass. Yummy. So I know this is definitely a golden Coomera. Down there? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do this one first. Because they're my favourite and I'm super excited. Let's start digging in. It's a rainbow Let's... skink. Funny. Let's rescue it. Okay, show us your equipment. <laughs> so this is my digging fork. This is my grandmother's, my dad's, mum's. And I have it now, which is really cool. And this is one for Finn. You have a miniature one. Yeah, a miniature fork. Cool. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. So we have two. They're pretty big. They're quite split. I think they might have been mm. too long. Those are ginormous. Yep. Little purple one. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny. It's Whoa. Look down here. This one? A little tiny one. Oh, then you look down here. I found my first one. Wow. Big fat juicy. Big fat juicy one. Awesome. Tiny. Looks nice. There is something else in here, another golden one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my I'm keeping my tiny ball on. Tiny my... little? So Tom is going to dig and see, we're going to empty the bed because... You guys have a dig around in there and see, Finny, this can be one of your jobs. You have a dig around in this soil and see what you can find in there, okay? I first need to put this in the truck. Oh. No Look way. at that big one. There's a couple. There's another one there. Just wow. <laughs> nice. These two. Weehee. Winning. Oh. <laughs> You want to grab that one, Bumster? Let's put it in the pile. I don't think I should have to because Dio might eat them. Oh, she's alright, Does she even want anything? There you go. Another one. It's a big fat golden just... one. That Yay! Crazy. Little haul so far. Yeah. Thing. Yep. It is one. Can you pull it? 
Good nice. job. Oh, I found a kumara growing under the weed mat. Crazy. How are we going to get him out? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here you go, Finny. I got it. Okay, now I think it's just a matter of digging around to see what else is left in there. In there and in there. Okay. So, here's the harvest. We've got some really decent sized purple coomeras, some weirdly long and okay sized golden coomera, and the next step from here is to just leave them to cure. So I'm going to take this and pop it in the, maybe in the laundry on top of the washing machine um, so that the soil can kind of dry off and the starches are supposed to concentrate into the kumara and then they'll be great for eating. So I was, I don't know, I was a little bit, a little teeny tiny, harvest hands, teeny tiny bit bummed out I guess about, I thought I'd get more. But then Tom did kind of talk a bit of logic, he's quite good for that. Sometimes, but he's quite often good for that. Um, and he mentioned that it is quite a small space. It's half of a 1.8 by 0.9 metre bed. They don't really have a lot of room to spread out. And I want to show you something. When we were harvesting down here, this is the divider I put in. Um, there are kumara that have escaped and gone under, and they're through here. And what I didn't want to happen has happened. Um, maybe less so, because I put the divider in. And that the silver beet, or this is beetroot I think, whatever's in here is going to have to grow with kumara and I won't be able to get to the kumara and see what has escaped until we harvest these. So, At the start I found this tiny potato in the wheelbarrow. Ah, <laughs> cool. I think maybe what I do next time is possibly be a little bit more diligent about lifting um, the roots. Maybe just grow purple, although I really do like the golden and they are my favourite and they're fun to grow. Um, maybe I'll divide a whole garden bed to them. I'm looking at Tom. He's I nodding. A whole garden bed. Kumara is like the best. Yeah man. Yeah. We'll try that next time maybe. And yeah if you've got any more tips with, for me maybe just pop them in the comments. Um, you know I'm learning as I go. Um, I don't know a lot about a lot but I know a little bit about some stuff so maybe I'd like to know a bit more about how to get really awesome Kumara crops. Um, yeah, so I appreciate any of you guys who give me tips and feedback and even share um, how you grow and what works for you um, Because I think that's the cool thing about gardening is you know if we all do it and we all share what makes us successful Then everyone's crops will be successful and then it'll make gardening even more fun. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'm gonna go and find somewhere where the dog won't eat these. Bye